Welcome to Narrate and Audible, where we're creating content for narrating. So today we're going to go to the ACX website and we're going to start an Audible account and also claim a book and upload some items and from start to finish basically. And then we'll see what message pops up into our message center and go from there. So the idea is that I have several of my books here. I put in my name, as you saw before, and you can claim your books. If you don't see a particular book there, don't get worried about it. You can always, um, oh, what's the phrase? <laughs> you can uh, search specifically for that book. There we go. Uh, don't forget to put in your address. Click all the little boxes at the bottom. You might want to read the terms and conditions. Probably a good idea. I'm just not going to show you my address there. So we'll skip to the point where I've already put my address in and you have a lovely picture of being over top of it because you don't need to know where I live because it's the big wide internet. Um, so there are all sorts of uh, little links at the bottom where you can find um, training, important videos. And then over here, we get into our settings, whether or not you want emails or not. It's always a good idea to get their emails so that you're updated when things are approved, right? Uh, over here, we have your royalty tax information. For me as Canadian, it was super easy. I just had to know my social insurance number and, and my banking information. So... Banking information has already been provided. You go through. It's not difficult. Uh, learn your SIN number. And I think we went over this in a different video, or maybe we didn't. Maybe we didn't. Um, I spent about 20 lovely minutes with my bank talking about um, SWIFT. Uh, that was the main number that we needed, the SWIFT number, the routing number. And uh, they were great. I love my credit union. And then over here, you can change your password. Um, so it took me probably about 30 minutes to sign up. And the reason it took that long was because I had talked to my bank for 20 minutes. But it was a fun conversation. Shout out to the lovely representative to who helped me out. She was great. And then over here, you can see we've already got two new messages, even though we just started this account, basically saying, welcome. Don't forget to do this stuff. You know, important things like that. So if we go over into our books, we can choose a book. And I usually, I think I just started with a ring for Christmas. Uh, ring for Christmas. <laughs> and then it gives you two options, whether that you've got the files already or whether you want to put it up for um, consideration for a narrator to help you out. And then we go through what territory rights do you own? Well, I own the world rights because I'm the author. I'm the only one. Um, how would you like to distribute your audiobook? Now, this was a bit tricky and I made a mistake. Sorry about that. <laughs> Basically, um, I should have picked non-exclusive. So exclusive is if you're only going to market it through their channels, nowhere else. Okay. You do get a higher, uh, amount of money for doing that. I believe it's 40% for royalties versus 25% for non-exclusive. Non-exclusive means that you are going to distribute it in other channels and other marketing channels. And I have mine on YouTube. So because I have mine on YouTube, I have to choose non-exclusive and I should have done that. But if you find yourself in the problem where you accidentally clicked ex uh, exclusive or non-exclusive and you didn't mean to, um, before you've got things fully operational, you can send in an email to ACA x and um i keep trying to put an m in there i don't know why amx but it's acx you can send them an email and they will be super great about getting it unpublished or giving you options um so they unpublished mine and then i reclaimed my book and i started again which was great so then we click this little fabulous box that we have agreed to this and once you've done that, you can't go back, unfortunately. Hmm. Which really kind of sucks. But, I mean, I would like to say that you could go back before it gets published, but no, no, you can't. You can't change it. So then we have the um, back of the book, which is the little blurb that you have, which automatically populates 
with spelling errors and all. And then I just cleaned it up to make it look a little bit nicer. But if you have something else that you want to copy and paste or even just type in there, you can. You've got quite a few characters to play with, which is very good. And basically, I was just spacing things out so that it's readable and looks better. And underneath, you can see that there is copyright information that needs to be put in. Um, basically, your author name, which should be your name. Um, if you do have a co-author, you can also put their information in as well. And the tricky part was trying to remember what year <laughs> I had done this. So what I did was I went actually to my bookshelf where if you've published with Amazon before through ebooks or paperbacks or enrolled in the Kindle Unlimited program, then uh, you know that you can find the year that you first published your book right there in the bookshelf, which is great because honestly, I couldn't remember exactly what year I had chosen to publish A Ring for Christmas. It's been a while, I guess five years or so. Now, obviously, we're going to put the current year that we're actually uploading uh, into the audiobook. And my book is fiction, and the best category for my book, there's a wide selection for you to choose from. For me, I threw it into romance. And then, again, we can self-populate our fabulous name. If you have any reviews or rewards, you can put those in, but it's not necessary. So, when we get here, we can import our chapters and titles directly from Kindle. Um, I didn't like how they were put. And you don't need to put in, you know, credits or title page. They'll already have those things. But um, I really, yeah, I really do not like having all capitals. So I took my time and basically went through and nicely put in the chapter and uh, epilogue in. So it was much easier for everybody to see and read and find. And once that was finished... We approved it, and we saved and continued. Then we came over to the point where you can upload your lovely audio files and your book cover. And when I did this, I realized <laughs> my book cover was the wrong size, so I had to go remake it in Canva, and that took me a little while, but uh yeah, um, audiobook covers, we're gonna go through how to make one some point, and they're the 2400 by 2400 PIX size, not anything else. And you can see over here that I did make another error that I fixed later on for a ring for Christmas, which is where the title is getting overshadowed, and the subtitle, overshadowed by that lovely gray triangle, which is where Amazon puts some vital information, so they want you to leave that blank. So I had to um, rejig my title and my subtitle. And as you can see on my example on the right, how I took the lovely font and made it so that it is to the left and away from that right hand corner so it doesn't get cut off and the reader doesn't miss it. And here I have uploaded the corrected version. Now as we scroll down to the bottom, you can see that we are going to add in our credits. So we have opening credits. Um, we have, sorry, I should say <laughs> we're uploading our audio files. That's the word that I should be using here. So we're going to upload each one as we go. Personally, when I'm doing them, because I know that they have to have the um, 192 byte map and the lowly consistent rate um i like to put like a little a beside them usually but here we're just running through and quickly uploading each one and it will automatically analyze the file and then tell you if there are any issues with it which we will see in a moment because i do have a chapter that no matter what i do it just won't work so i'm gonna have to end up re-recording lovely chapter 10 chapter 10 uh, of A Ring for Christmas. But it happens. I mean, I was new to the narrating game and I was just trying to get things on um, on YouTube and uh, 
I didn't know whether I would have to re-record or try again for the audio files that I was making, so I actually got really lucky because at the time I wasn't making them up to the ACX standards. So only having one that won't, um, won't populate is not a terrible thing. So we'll, we'll just have to re-record it, take the time to do it and go through them. And, uh, then we will upload them and see what our fabulous, fabulous, um, ACX community group thinks and, uh, if they let me publish it or not. Now on the right hand side, you'll see that there's these lovely action buttons. And under the action buttons, you can actually re, re-upload things and, um, re-re-upload. <laughs> That's funny. You can re-upload your items if you happen to upload the wrong things. So don't think it's set in stone or anything like that. There are different actions that you can take, which will help you to get this done. Now, as you see, you can tell that we have an issue. Uh, when you go to the audio analysis and you click on the chapter that has the issue, it will tell you what the problem is. In this case, he's telling me that I accidentally uploaded something twice, which I did do, and I will fix that, and also that there are issues with chapter 10. So let's fix the epilogue, which I accidentally uploaded the wrong thing. You can see that we have their little button where we have different actions and we can upload again. So we go back to the bottom and we say, yep, we made a mistake. We're going to pick out the correct file and upload it. And it doesn't really take any time at all. This is in real time. I'm not fast forwarding anything. It, it's really actually very quick to get things uploaded. So that's the good news. Now we should be going back to see what's wrong with chapter 10. And so as we open it, we can see that the RMS value is incorrect. So that's a problem. And that's where I went back to Audible and I, not Audible, <laughs> I went back to Audacity and I imported it and I fiddled with it and fiddled with it and fiddled with it. And I just can't make it pass all three things. I'm off like one or two points. It's really annoying. And I think I knew that when I recorded it, but I was just hoping that I could get it to pass. And I could not. So again, I'm going to have to re-record this chapter because I just kept fiddling with the uh, limiter, the noise reduction, the um, fabulous peak level, RMS level, noise floor. It just, it all did not work out. And every time, even when I got it to pass in Audacity, like just barely pass, it would not pass. So... Unfortunately, that does happen sometimes, and you just have to keep playing with them and your levels, and you just don't always get it right um, most of the time. 98% of the time, I've been getting it right. This is the 2% exception to the rule, unfortunately. Now, at this point, if you have all of your files in and that they are all approved, then you can hit that purple button up there saying, I'm done. And it'll give you another screen that basically says, are you sure? And you can say yes, or you can say no, and go back and then redo some of your information, whatever you choose to decide. Then from there, we will get a message from ACX basically stating, hey, great for you. Your audiobook is up for us to review it and approve it. And basically, it's going to take us about 10 days and we'll let you know how it goes and give you some feedback. And it'll either be approved or you have some stuff that you need to unfortunately fix before they will let it out into the world of Audible. So congratulations on your first Audible book, people. And I hope that uh, you all find some prosperity in it and some joy in making these. And that is basically the process of uploading your own files to Audible and ACX. I would like to thank you for watching this video and I hope that you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, or clicking the bell for future videos. All of these things are free for you to do and really help me with the algorithms to grow this channel and to grow my platform. Remember, you can find my audiobooks on YouTube or my ebooks and paperbacks on Amazon. I also have books in the Kindle Unlimited program. So happy listening and happy reading.